My sister gave me this hat. Isn't it cute? It's 10.40 at night, and instead of going to bed like a responsible adult, I want to talk about sharks. dorsal fins and sharp teeth and occasionally they turn a surfer into a snack. But wouldn't it be sort of sad if our cartilaginous friends didn't exist? For some time extinction has threatened some species, all thanks to a continued demand for squalene, a lightweight oil found in shark livers. Squalene is a highly unsaturated hydrocarbon that comes from the triterpenoid family. It has six double bonds, which makes it light and oily. But despite it being endangered, shark squalene has occasionally turned up in cosmetic moisturizers and health supplements. Who is the alpha predator now, sharks? Though shark squalene has been in vogue for most of modern history, companies like L'Oreal and Unilever dropped it in 2008 after a study reported that the global cosmetics industry was fueling shark extinction with its need for shark-based squalene. Many cosmetic companies have moved to the plant-based version, although lower concentrations and higher prices have led some unreputable suppliers to pass off shark-based squalene as the plant-based version. What's really cool is that companies can test for authenticity through isotope ratio mass spectrometry. Companies can test the C13, the C12 isotope ratio, and determine whether the source was from plant or animal. It's sort of like a cosmetic lie detector test. You are so busted, unreputable suppliers. And in 2014, what's even cooler is that companies like Amaris have announced a synthetic version of squalene that use yeast, yeast people of all things, to convert sugar into a suitable replacement. It is more abundant, it is cheaper, and it promises a future of many more shark weeks to come. Rawr!